News shooter coverage of IBC 2025 is sponsored by B&H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2025. I'm with David from Godox. Now, this is the brand new MG 4K and 4KR. For people who may not That's be correct. familiar with these, uh, just run me through some of its features and specifications. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Uh, this is the uh, MG 4KR and that's the MG 4K. Uh, these are the two new additions to the Godox NOLED MG family. Uh, the biggest pro of this whole family is the size and weight. If you compare these to the previous generation, it's half the size and half the weight for the same output. And the MG 4K R stands for the RGBWW chip set inside the fixture. And the MG 4K is the bicolor version, but also with green and, green and magenta shift capabilities. And what's the power draw? Uh, so you have uh, 2400 watts on both. So 2400 watts, but if you want to use it indoors on a regular power socket, you can because you have a system built into the ballast. Exactly. Uh, it's the first time uh, that me as a gaffer, I've seen something like this built in the ballasts uh, that you can limit the max power draw. This is also important on the MG 6K, which is the big brother of the MG 4K uh, series, uh, where you can use it from, or also the MG 4K you can use from a CEE plug or in the US baits or whatever you're using, but also you can limit it percentage-wise or watts-wise uh, to how your sockets, what they can handle. If you have like an old installation, you can limit to two kilowatts, new installation to three kilowatts with these lights. So it all depends on how much you want to draw and how, you, how much you can draw. And these use a proprietary Godox mounting system? Yes, it's called G-Mount. Uh, and why this mounting system uh, is preferred by us to Bowens or other uh, standard mounting systems is because of it's more robust and also has communication between uh, the modifiers. So it recognizes what, what modifiers you're using. Um, it knows whether it can use full output or if it needs to adjust some parameters of the chipset to make the light more white, you know, more uh, uh, accurate for what you're setting in the ballast. If you turn this feature off, it, um, you, you can even see if you, without even metering that each modifier has a different CCT and that's just how materials work. So that's why we built in this uh, rec recognition system into the uh, mount. And speaking of modifiers, what sort of modifiers are available for this light? We have everything from hard to soft modifiers, starting from projection, projection mounts, uh, soft boxes, uh, including them in all shapes and sizes. Lanterns like the GL7, which is our huge lantern. You can basically go camping in it. Uh, and then we have uh, Fresnels. We do have prototype Fresnels as well here, motorized ones and non-motorized ones. And we obviously have the reflectors. Uh, here you have the 15 degree reflector, which is very popular amongst users in the MG series. And then we also have wider reflectors, also known as dishes, by the way. Uh, and our biggest modifier, uh, is the parallel beam uh, reflector. Uh, this is the Max 90. It also comes in a smaller, more compact size, which is called the Max 60. And in terms of pricing and availability? The MG 4K in the bicolor version is $4,300. And the uh, MG 4K R, the full color version, retails for $6,300.